Rev up your engines, race fans, because Haley Deegan is taking the NASCAR world by storm as she just revealed a bombshell revelation about her journey to the Xfinity Series. See, in a shocking turn of events, Deegan spills the beans on how her fiancé, Chase Cabri, played a key role in her sudden rise to Xfinity Series. But that's not all, because it seems like in the world of skill versus fame, she might just be proof that social media wizardry is all you need to become a successful racer. But what exactly is going on? And what does Tony Stewart have to say about all this drama? Grab onto your helmets and fill up the popcorn bucket, because this story is definitely a crazy one. It truly is a crazy year for the Xfinity series, as Haley Deegan has shocked fans all around the world by bagging herself a jaw-dropping multi-year deal with none other than AM Racing, putting her behind the wheel of the fierce number 15 Mustang in the Xfinity series. Under normal circumstances, this is a reason to celebrate, as many drivers spend their whole lives looking for a deal like this. But this isn't normal, as the angel of the racetrack success story isn't your average success story. If anything, it's much like the track she is setting to rack on, filled with curves, turns, and all-around surprises. And where does it all begin? Well, with the fact that many people believe she didn't earn this contract by her skills alone. See, they believe it's not merely Haley's prowess on the asphalt that's catapulting her to stardom, but rather a highly effective mix of social media privileges and a little magic from her husband-to-be. But that's not even the craziest part, as the racer allegedly admitted to these rumors being true. I mean, talk about shooting yourself in the foot. She spilled the beans in an interview, admitting that her fiancé, Chase Cabri, actually came through for her, playing the role of her knight in shining armor. But how? Well, it all started when AM Racing approached Cabri with an offer. This all went down during the introduction periods of the Circuit of the Americas Truck Series race. Chase was immersed in his camera duties when he got an unexpected tap on the shoulder from a representative of AM Racing. What would then follow would be a series of texts and a mysterious meeting, which ultimately created the magic that offered Haley a major career-changing opportunity. And of course, Haley had no part in it, as Chase, being the sensible guy, actually sorted things out. In fact, while Haley fretted about driver introductions, Cabri was busy securing her a very promising Xfinity future. But that's just half of the story, because fiancé magic isn't all there was at play here. As it would turn out, her social media game played a massive role too. But how do we know? Well, once again, she told us. See, in an interview with Parker Sigman and Landon Castle on the Money Lap podcast, Haley was practically digging her grave as she spilled the beans on how her Xfinity dreams turned into a reality. In the interview, she credited her fiancé and her social media presence as her major catalyst for her rise to success. She said, but I'm really glad I didn't talk him out of going to that meeting to go film intros. And so definitely, that's where everything started from, and it just took off from there. And we started conversations, a lot of dinner meetings, and the next thing you know, I'm racing in the Xfinity full-time. And with all this controversy going around, you can bet that someone is going to speak up. And that person is none other than Tony Stewart, the co-owner of a NASCAR team. See, the new deal might be enraging Stewart, who happens to be the co-owner of Stuart Haas Racing and current co-owner of the Superstar Racing Experience. See, he unleashed his frustration with Haley's on-track antics recently, and it all boils down to how he aims to challenge the unspoken status quo of NASCAR. See, emphasizing the need for true talent over family connections in the racing world, Tony seems to think Haley isn't good enough for the contract, and the whole issue now seems to be breaking down into a showdown of principles, a showdown that Haley finds herself smack in the center of. See, this wasn't his first time coming out as an aftermath of the Nashville incident with Lawless Allen. Stewart was out for blood when he said, This is why we should seek talented drivers in racing instead of talentless father's kids like Deegan. As I previously stated, I was looking for someone who understood what it takes to manage the ups and downs of the racing process. I was looking for mentally stable individuals who understand the demands of competing at this level and can strategize well. It's not just about driving fast. It's about putting together a race and understanding when to push and when to back off. But what exactly happened in the Nashville incident? Well, during the Nashville race with Deegan and Lawless Allen, things got wild. Deegan made a move that led to Allen slamming into the wall, ending his race way too soon. And because of this, many fans were enraged. And soon after that, Jack Wood also got caught up in the chaos, making it all even more intense. So once the dust settled, the frustration wasn't just in the stands. It went right into the heart of NASCAR. And so, co-owner Tony Stewart couldn't hold back, openly dissing Deegan's performance. The racing drama wasn't just on the track. In fact, it was a hot topic throughout NASCAR, sparking a debate about the fine line between skill and behavior in the crazy world of racing. 
To truly understand why he feels that way, we have to shift the spotlight to her performance in the NASCAR Truck Series and the Arham Manard Series. As her performance has now become the topic of most conversations, Haley finds herself between a rock and a hard place, as many now believe her run at Thor Sport Racing in 2023 didn't meet expectations. But you know the worst part? Moving from David Gilliland Racing to Thor Sport Racing in 2023 was a big deal for Deegan. Joining a team with champions like Ben Rhodes and Matt Crafton was expected by many to be her breakthrough moment. Unfortunately, the expected improvement in her performance didn't quite pan out. In fact, in 2023, she only managed one top 10 finish, coming in 6th place at the Texas Motor Speedway, and had 8 finishes of 20th or worse in 13 races. Her struggles were clear, with the last 3 races seeing her finish 28th or worse. The high expectations surrounding her took a hit due to ongoing clashes with fellow competitors. Not to mention adding to the concerns was the stark contrast with her teammates, who were comfortably sitting in the top 10 in points while Deegan was battling to stay within the top 20. This raised questions about her future in the series and whether she could overcome these challenges to prove herself on the track. While Deegan did show promise in her lone NASCAR Xfinity Series race in the previous season, finishing 13th at Las Vegas Motor Speedway, it raises the question of where she should focus her efforts going forward. But even though she's facing a lot of opposition, she isn't bothered. Why? Well, let's not forget that in the end, it simply is a numbers game, and Haley has the numbers on her side after all. Haley isn't just a racer. She's also a social media queen with a staggering 1.5 million Instagram followers. And although not just a number, numbers also don't lie. And these numbers are a testament to the hard work and effort she puts into maintaining an influential online presence. And thanks to this, you can always bet that sponsors will come knocking, and the value of her digital followers is becoming undeniable. But that's not all, because here's another twist in this family saga. The numbers thing isn't just Haley. See, even her dad, who is a camera buff, is now a key player in the content creation game, making YouTube videos and publicity more than a means to an end, but rather a shared passion with a family affair adds an interesting extra layer to Haley's narrative. Although it looks rosy, moving into social media has been a huge effort for Deegan, but it's been worth it. With a massive following, she's able to attract sponsors easily. Her social media presence has brought in sponsors that wouldn't typically be part of NASCAR, all thanks to her poll. As she puts it, certain sponsors that wouldn't be a part of NASCAR come in because of my social media following and get hooked on it. It's a good grabber. But what do you think about all this? Does Tony have a point, or is Haley more of a racer thanks to her unorthodox means? Let us know in the comments section below. And while you're at it, hit the like and subscribe button to stay up to date on all the newest NASCAR news and rumors. Until next time, bye bye